morning class. Good morning, sir. All right, so I hope you are all doing well and in the mood to listen. As I, Lawrence F. Lalim, third officer on board, will be your instructor for today's discussion, which is Barriers in Communication under the annual Model Course 1.21 or the TSSR. Now, before we start, I will show you a video and after that, I will ask you these questions. Number one, what is the problem between the two persons communicating in the video? And what do you think is the reason that caused this problem? That's why I want you to pay attention to the video. again to them. let's go back to the question what do you think is the problem between, between the two persons communicating in the video anybody could answer <laughs> yes Ms. Julie uh, miscommunication yes. yes that is correct the problem there is miscommunication but why do you think what do you think is the reason for that what a clear question it wasn't a clear question it wasn't a clear question Yes, that is correct. Because the, the first guy didn't clarify if it's if the dog is I mean if the owner of the dog is the other guy. And if you can recall, if you can recall the basic elements of the communication, we have the sender or what we call transmitter. And the other on the other end is the receiver of the message. And we also have the modes or the methods of transmission which can be verbal or non-verbal. Now, if the barriers uh, occur in this communication, what will happen? It will cause a miscommunication, which can lead to accident or injury. That's why it is our objective today to, to identify the barriers causing poor communication. Alright, so now let's proceed. First barriers communication could be the transmitter's perception or conceptualization. What do we mean by that? <coughs> it means that the person who is transmitting the idea is already wrong himself. Best example is the video that we just watched earlier. Now the second barrier could be the transmitter's capability. What does that mean? The person is unable to transmit his order clearly for all to understand. Maybe he is unable to speak well. Or maybe he's not able to write well. Or he has a poor command of the language. In short, the transmitter is not good in communication. The next one is modes of transmission. The medium used in communicating is inappropriate or might have encountered problem. What are the examples of these modes? We have the telephone, walkie-talkies, email, social media apps like Messenger, Viber, <coughs> or message being relayed by the other person. That means a third person is, could also be a mode of transmission. For example, I asked Mr. Jordan to relay a message to Sir Ian. Can you please tell him that the lesson will start at 5 a.m.? But you said it will start at 5 p.m. So it's already a barrier of communication. And last, we have the receiver's capability. In order for the, for the communication must be successful, the receiver should be able to understand the language used, pay attention and listen, understand the concept, and provide feedback that he understood. That why, that's why it is very important to provide feedback. For example, you are the helmsman on the ship, and the captain gave you an order. The, the rule is to repeat the exact words of the master, so that master understand, uh, understood uh, sorry, th so that the master knows that you understand the order. <coughs> Alright now, so uh, at this juncture, we will uh, we will have an activity. 
instructions, all participants will form a straight line facing the back of each other. It means that all of you will participate. The first participant in the line will be given a paper to be interpreted and to be acted. The action will be demonstrated to the next participant and must be relayed up to the last person in the line. And the first and last participant must have the same actions. Do you follow the instructions? Can okay, follow? Yes. Now, at the count of 10, I want you all guys to stand up and form a line. Alright, so one, two, three, and now we face the face this side. You can use this face. All right, so in this line, uh, the center of the message will be Senor Peralta and the receiver of the message will be George, Mr. Jordan. <laughs> Let's look here, okay? <coughs> All right, to, so to maximize our time, I will give 10 seconds each of the participants to demonstrate, okay? All right, see you <coughs> Thoughts. That is why communication is very important in our lives. 
right? Mm -hmm. So thank you.